Hey, how's it going everybody? B-Rad here. I'm going to be doing a review of the MMOTE mouse by Mad Cats here. In this review, I'm going to be going over the functionality and the features of the mouse, and I'm going to close with an installation tutorial for you guys. So let's get to it. Even the box has a cutting edge appeal as you open it to find the MMOTE mouse with a Velcro cable management strap to keep a uniform length for the cable as you use it, a quick start guide that has limited info on the mouse, and a warranty and support booklet. The mouse has a sleek, state-of-the-art design with strategically placed custom programmable buttons on the sides of the mouse. The ergonomic design has an adjustable palm rest for optimal fit and comfort, as I have a demonstration for you here. Although it has advanced functions and programmability, it is a good fit out of the box for any gamer looking to pick up PC gaming. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to plug the mouse actually into the computer, and then we're going to have to go and download the software and driver from the website. So I have, was there earlier? So hopefully I type M and it comes right up. Yep, okay, so we're going to go to this website. And again, I'm going to go ahead and post all of the links to any of the resources that I access uh, to make this video and everything. So you guys can have that. It's going to be in the description, so you can just check that out at the end of the video. All right, so now we're going to download the driver, and what we're going to do is click our OS. Right now we're running uh, Windows 7 Pro and MLOT, so we're going to install that. That's the driver first. Basically, that's going to give us the basic functionality of the mouse to let it work you know, normally. The software is the actual component that lets you program the different buttons and everything. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and I'm going to click here and find the mouse. Yeah, okay, it's at the top, okay, there we go, and go ahead and download that as well, and yep, so let me fast forward the video for you, get to the end with that download, alright, there we go, and next we're going to go ahead and load the driver first, just going to go over here to downloads, and we're going to pop that open here, and I got a UAC prompt, I'm going to go ahead and type my stuff in there, and basically you put the driver first and I believe the driver actually gives you some functionality over a few buttons but it actually doesn't give you the ability to program them you actually need the uh, MMOTE software so I'm gonna go ahead and allow the installation of all these little components and that's gonna run okay looks good and gonna go ahead and type in all these UAC prompts here okay all right, and I'll probably fast forward to the end of this. Uh, looks like that finished actually, so I will go ahead and click finish on that. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the software installation, which allows you to program the actual buttons on the mouse. Just gonna type my stuff into this UAC prompt. Just give me one sec. And here we go. Uh, this is going to run, and this is what actually gives you the ability to program your different uh, functions onto the buttons all over this mouse. And go ahead and accept the license terms. And I'll fast forward to the end. Oh, actually, this looks like it's going pretty quick. And finish. Okay. And that's still going, so I will fast forward to the end of that. All right, now that the download is complete, all that stuff's fully installed and everything. We're going to go ahead and create a link on the desktop. I'm going to go into Program Files and uh, pull the file out of there. And here's the executable. So we're going to go ahead and right click Send to Desktop and we'll rename that so it's easier to access. We have it on the desktop. That way we can program this thing relatively easily wherever we're at. Close that out, and let's get started. Cool thing about this is it actually comes with some pre-built-in like game profiles that they made. So we'll click Minecraft quick. Cool thing about it, say you have some you know hotkeys that are pretty common, and uh, they leave you some space so you can actually put your own stuff. There you got some inventory stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and make our own. 
So here we're going to go ahead and I'm going to just show you that it gives you three different options here uh, to program your mouse with one profile. So you have one profile and then within that you get three different configurations that you can set for all the buttons. And uh, we'll just place some random stuff here for now just so I can kind of show you. Alright, so that's that and we'll go back to the first one and you can see that's a uh, that's its own thing. So we're going to remove some of these. I'm actually going to throw some uh, custom stuff in here and I'll kind of just show you how it works with throwing like copy and paste and stuff. Uh, let's find the other stuff. There's quite a few options here that they have pre-built in and a really cool thing about it too is you can build your own uh, customized uh, macro. So we'll just throw a couple here um, just to show you the functionality there and those are good. Uh, going to go like uh, back and forward. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that then. And uh, let's go forward here and I'll show you actually how to uh, create like a custom button. We'll put it on this one right here. So we just go up here and click custom. And what you have to do is just, you know, name it. We'll just name it custom test and click down here and actually just hold in the buttons you need. So what I'll do is do Windows R to pull up the run box. That's the little macro we can use and we'll just throw it right over here. And then I'm going to hit apply to actually apply these settings. So that should be good to go. What I'm going to do next is actually just open some stuff up for you guys to see how this works. And there we go. I'm just going to go to the Mad Cats website here. Uh, just to demonstrate that back and forth that I programmed on the front there. Alright, let's just click a random link here. Alright, and we'll go back and forth. Uh, with those buttons we programmed seems to be working just fine. Awesome. So we'll close that out and we'll just start punching some random buttons and stuff in here. I uh, got some numbers and stuff I'm just going to throw there, see if this copy and paste works. Uh, it looks like, uh, which buttons did I put that on right here? Okay, so that's looking like it's working. Let's punch in a couple sevens and try that. Copy and cut, paste, 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 there we go. It's pretty straightforward. Um, looks pretty good. And let's see if we can get that macro working. Oh, looks like it came right up awesome so it's pretty intuitive once you get used to it like it's a pretty ergonomic feel too once your hands on there it's pretty straightforward to grab everything but let's move on over here this is the actual DPI switch uh, basically what that does it's that center button right there uh, you just gotta click that and it gives you four different options um, these are we'll just move these around here I'm going to just get these kind of moved around. I guess they do X and Y axis in case you're playing like a shooting game or anything like that. You can kind of move around fast, but you don't have to worry about losing sight of your uh, headshots. So you actually click uh, that button again, like I said, and it'll filter through those settings. So we're at one, really low, two, kind of like a little more. That's like medium, three, and four is like crazy all over the place. Uh, so that's good. For basic use, we'll just stay with two for now. Uh, next thing here, uh, you got this like a uh, safety trigger thing. I, it's uh, it's pretty much slows it down, so you can program a button for like a FPS you're doing online. Uh, for power consumption, you pretty much you know self-explanatory. You want full power for the best performance over here. Self-explanatory too, you know. Uh, just you know sensitivity settings. It's all pretty easy to understand there. So we'll go over here and up. Oh, uh, we'll just hit cancel for now. Okay, so if you go up here actually and click this, it should take you to a video link, but once you get to the site, it says coming soon. There's nothing there. Uh, down here, it's the uh, manual. It's pretty lackluster stuff with the quick start guide and everything. Uh, but over here, you can actually create a ticket and contact us and everything if you guys want. Uh, if you thought this video was helpful, shoot them a link to my video, make a ticket, and say, hey, you can link that to the uh, tutorial video there. And, yeah, thanks for watching.